Hello, SBL student team. As promised, here is tip number five. Mistakes that SBL students most commonly make in the examination. And this one has to do with the pre-seen case study, which, as most of you will know, is released two weeks before the real exam. Now, a lot of students make the mistake of doing lots and lots of research into the industry of the case study. They spend lots and lots of time trying to work out what topics uh, this indicates uh, might form the basis of questions in the exam and so on. Please, please, please don't waste your time doing that. The pre-seen case study is there for one reason only, and that is really to give you some context of the company and the industry in which it operates, right? So the aim is that the answers that you put together need to kind of fit into the context. So for example, um, if, if the uh, context tells you that this particular industry is in decline in country X, um, you may decide in your answer, in one of your answers, to recommend some kind of portfolio diversification. Uh, so getting a dog uh, out of the, of the portfolio and replacing it with a star, something like that. So that's the connection you would make. But the fact that the industry is old or declining, as told you in the case study, is not the basis for a question. The questions, the tasks in SBL will come from the exhibits and additional information that you're provided with in the exam. Just make sure that you get what you say to match the context uh, given in the case study. And by the way, remember that the pre-seen case study is always also going to be available to you in the real exam. So you can always look it up. If there's a little detail, maybe some numbers that you want to refer to, um, which you have forgotten. Okay, so that's how you use the pre-seen case study in the SBL exam. Good luck.